Bob Craycraft, CEO and President of Safety Clean Systems. We're the leading used oil collector and re-refiner of used oil in the world. We are first and foremost an environmental services company. We have an oil refining division which takes used oil from dealerships and auto repair shops and we recycle it, put it back out into the marketplace. It's a very big company. Our, our revenues are over a billion dollars. Safety Clean's had an interesting history. It was public for about 20 years, and then in 1998 went through a hostile takeover. And in the late 90s, the company went into bankruptcy and emerged out of bankruptcy in 2003 and really started getting back on the right track. And then as Highland entered into the process and became more involved in 2009, we really started the transformation of the business to where we are today. When Highland became a shareholder, it really was a big event for the company because they brought a lot of experience and expertise to the company and they really forced us to focus on what was important there. The safety Clean coming out of the 2008-2009 recession, it was a challenging environment for the company. And I think Highland helped the company take that head on because you're talking about a company in 2009 that had results in the mid-50s. At the end of 2012, we're going to produce almost $170 million in EBITDA. And overwhelming majority of the help came from our operational excellence improvement initiatives that generated over $30 million in savings and productivity in 2011 and 2012. Uh, you know, that work continues on today that we have another 15 million in the hopper for 2013. When Highland brings in their operational team, you know, first and foremost, it was about an awareness. From there, it went into an education. What I found when I came to Safety Clean was that we didn't have a framework of how to solve problems. You know, the $30 million in savings we've taken out in 2011 and 2012 has really been because we introduced Lean and Six Sigma principles, which is really a way to solve problems. Highland and their operational teams were really very instrumental in holding the mirror up to us and showing us we needed a more robust plan. And Highland brought to Safety Clean lean thinking, operational excellence there. And I will tell you, it's changed the way we approach problems. We engage our employees differently. We communicate with our field organization uh, differently. And I can truly say that without Highland sitting at the table and insisting we turn the page one more time and ask why, we would not have the tight, good controls we do today. Inevitably, there's change, and change can be difficult, but Highland was always very supportive. They would help us create and build, whether it's a change management piece or it's the structure of a template that was going on or it was how we staggered our goals. Highland was always very helpful, and inevitably there's problems in big companies, and given our history, sometimes it felt we had more than we wanted on there. But rather than just you know, sending me an email about what I needed to do, they actually brought people into our corporate headquarters. They had people visit our branches. They helped us interview our service reps. And they actually helped us implement the solutions. And any time I asked Highland if we could get help, could you go attend this meeting? Could you go visit this facility? The answer was always yes. They, they will get as hands on as you, you ask them to be. Talent management is something that's very difficult and I think the first thing that Highland really took a critical look at was the talent, uh, both on the board and also on the senior uh, staff. I was very fortunate that Highland had people that were committed to really coming in and building a business versus just financially engineering the business. And I worked hand in hand with the Highland guys to recruit, retain, and continue to build our talent pitch. And so it started a very deliberate process around one, making sure we got the board lined up with the right people that had the right long-term goals for the company. Highland was very active to really make sure we had the right organizational structure and then the right people in those chairs to help drive the business. And I think that really helped us uh, get to the spot that we're at today. Highland's high degree of intellectual curiosity has really driven a lot of critical things that have been helpful for us from not just running the business, but also going through the sales process. Uh, the first is our hedging program. If we hadn't gone in and really understand the commodity impacts on our business, we would have never been able to form our hedging strategy that's been in place and will continue to be in place post-acquisition. And we're able to build a very detailed model around our business and how the key factors really drove the business. And Highland worked with us hand in hand uh, at the table to help develop that model. And that's something, again, that we will continue forward within the acquisition. Also, we did a big financial restructuring that resulted in a return $25 million restructuring. And obviously, the ideas that Highland brought forward really made a difference for us. I think the key around picking the right private equity firm is, are they operational 
or are they just really financial spreadsheet uh, uh, manipulators? And do they really have resources that can help? And so without that involvement, we wouldn't have been challenged enough in our thought processes and our thinking uh, to really drive the performance improvement that we did in such a short period of time. And I think it was because of getting that focus uh, and getting the structure in place that we accelerated even probably what uh, Highland thought was possible. There's a sense about Highland, they come in, it's a bull in the china shop. And I would tell you from my vantage point, it's, there's a lot of owners who are bull in the china shop, but there's a big difference here. Highland is a very active owner. They wanna know you have a plan and like any demanding boss, if you cannot explain articulately, they're gonna push back on you. But you know, we are all better for it. There. And what you realize, that conversation while at times can be awkward or difficult, is actually very helpful. You walk out of there with a much better sense of what you need to do. And today, when I talk about the company, there's this excitement. It's less about, oh, imagine what it could be. Uh, and the story is more about, let me tell you the path we're on, how the transformation is happening. Fact is, is there has been substantial improvement the level of performance we've seen is really unsurpassed over the last eight, 10 years here. Our revenue will be up 8% over prior year. Our uh, contribution margin dollars, our profitability will be up 22% uh, over the prior year. And those are just uh, levels of performance that I have not seen in my 10 years with Safety Clean. And I truly believe, you know, with Highland Capital's help, we really have transformed the company. And it is different today than it was two years ago, three years ago, you know, six years ago. During the sales process, Highland was very involved. It started with building our model that was used to get private equity, strategic buyers uh, comfortable with it. And also we were preparing to go IPO if we had to. Even though we didn't end up on that route, having a robust model built was uh, critical in how we talked about the business. And then as we got into the negotiation process and selecting the candidates to move forward, Highland worked with us around what's the strategies we want to take, who we select, how we select them, and then how we were messaging to them uh, during the process. And so we had multiple people interested in the business at the end, and I think we were able to leverage it for a great outcome for both the shareholders and for the company and the people of the safety clean business. And clearly without that involvement, uh, we probably would not have the outcomes that we have today.